Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. However, there have been a certain percentage of this volume of reports that have been made by credible observers of relatively incredible things. very compelling evidence that we uh, we may not be alone, whatever that means. Characteristics appear to demonstrate advanced technology. Arrow is the culmination of decades of DOD intelligence community and congressionally directed efforts to successfully resolve UAP encountered first and foremost by U.S. military. What is up, guys? Welcome back to Disclosure Team. I'm your host, Vinny Adams. The following is footage from the 1994 Nellis Air Force Range UFO video. Now, this is one video that has captivated me for many years, uh, and it always comes up in conversation. So what I wanted to do was kind of collate different videos and, and things of it that have been put out there over the years. So what I've done is I've put together the original hard copy TV segment with the original sightings TV segment, followed by the raw footage of the UFO sighting. So this is just kind of a reference video for anybody out there that's interested in this incident. And if you head down into the description of the video, you will see links to analysis and other things. So like I said, I just wanted to kind of collate all this information on this case into one concise video that people can save for their own reference. So uh, something a bit different here on this channel, but I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Tonight on Hard Copy, startling videotape of a UFO, and it comes from an unexpected source, the U.S. Air Force. The government has more information than it is generally willing to reveal to the public. This is no home video. These pictures were taken by a sophisticated military tracking system, and it's got operators baffled. What the hell is it? I don't know. Exclusive. The Air Force UFO. Now, a new UFO mystery over the Nevada desert, and this time, pictures of the strange objects were captured by none other than the U.S. Air Force. What the hell is it? I don't know. These are the secret images captured by a state-of-the-art military radar tracking system. Images which raise new questions about the U.S. military's knowledge of UFOs. It might look like a home video, but the numbers burned into the screen are actually high-tech computer-generated coordinates, like something out of Star Trek. That's how radar operators can tell exactly where the object is and how fast it's going. This is sort of a Nintendo game for adults who are playing serious games. These videos were recorded near Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada, home of the infamous UFO hotspot known as Area 51. 
This is where top secret military aircraft are designed and tested. And even though the Pentagon denies it, some say it's where the U.S. government secretly investigates UFOs. People need to know that this does exist. Sightings are occurring more and more. This man, we'll call him Steve, worked on top secret projects at Nellis Air Force Base, and he says UFO sightings are common there. This wasn't the first time I've seen the videos. I mean, I've seen other videos that are similar to this. Um, it just lent to the validity of what I already believe. They're here. The first of two videos obtained exclusively by hard copy shows a tiny dot over the horizon. Radar operators are having a hard time figuring out what it is. Required this unknown object, aircraft some type. It seems to be hovering near Look at the readout in the upper right-hand corner. It says the object being tracked is over 10,000 meters away. That's about six and a half miles. Whatever it is, it's solid and large enough to spike the radar return. This target is fairly stationary until the very end when it moves extremely rapidly. It must have a fairly large radar cross-section to return the signal back. That's why I believe the object was fairly large. A second video from Nellis Air Force Base. This time, the target moves slowly above the horizon. Once again, radar operators have no clue what they're looking at. They're familiar with all types of military targets. This very much surprised them. They're very much trying to figure out what type of targets these are. We asked Chuck DeCaro, a nationally recognized expert on military technology, to take a look at the tapes. Um, there are many possibilities there. If you can eliminate all those possibilities, then you come up with some technology that is unknown. And that would be a very big story. Hard copy had one of the Air Force tapes digitally enhanced. The result? There are no wings or rotor blades visible on this craft. But is it a visitor from outer space? Or could it be a classified military project? A high-tech flying object hatched from Area 51? The government has more information than it is generally willing to reveal to the public. Another look at the secret Air Force tape. Notice how the object continues upward and seems to change shape. The object might be a weather balloon buffeted by the wind, or the transformation could be attributed to a reflection. Rich Terrell is an astronomer and an expert in optics. Under those lighting circumstances, you get reflections, you get uh, different uh, uh, changes in, in the way an object will appear without it ever changing shape. It's just the lighting that's changing. But Steve insists that there is more to this video than meets the eye. He says the radar operators who recorded these images know what they saw, they just can't explain what they are. Based on my experiences, both personal and military, there's no doubt these alien systems exist. No surprise when we tried to contact authorities for an official response, both Nellis Air Force Base and the Pentagon declined to comment. Degrees elevation. Remote controlled cameras monitor the 7,700 square miles of airspace above the Nellis Range. The cameras record fighter jet training, tactical exercises, and in at least one case, this UFO. The video from a tracking location known only as S-30 was fed into Nellis Air Force Base in Las Vegas. Personnel there monitor what is supposed to be classified data about aircraft runs over the three million acres of desert that make up the Nellis Range. An unknown aircraft making its way onto the complex, says aerospace journalist Bill Sweetman, is not considered standard operating procedure. I don't think you'd really see many objects wandering in by accident. They're very, very careful uh, to ensure that sort of thing doesn't happen. The potential for serious accidents if somebody is really straying into the range is very, very serious. And yet, something obviously did stray in, and it frightened the camera's remote control operators. This craft shows up, and it's like they're playing with kids. It's like do whatever they want and buy now. Uh, that's scary. I've never seen anything like this before. This was my first encounter seeing anything of this nature. Um, and I've been working the ranges for close to 10 years. 
It seemed to move in whichever direction it wanted to go whenever it wanted to, contrary to any aircraft that I've seen in the past. Chuck DeCaro is a former member of U.S. Special Forces, specializing in state-of-the-art military technology. He has analyzed hours of video footage of supposed UFOs, debunking many. But he has never seen anything like the Nellis UFO. In my first look at that tape, I said, wow. And I continue to say, wow. There are only three things that could be on that tape. One is a very elaborate and very expensive hoax. I don't think that's what we're seeing. The second is some kind of a black project, a secret project, that has some very unusual aerodynamic characteristics. And the third, if you can eliminate all those aerodynamic answers, uh, could be a true unknown. And if that is an unknown, if you can come to that conclusion, you got a pretty interesting piece of history right there. The physical profile of the object changes almost frame to frame. And sometimes it appears almost to be a, a fuzzy, gassy cloud. In some portions of the video, it appears to be several spherical objects surrounding a dark mass. To get a better look at the flight characteristics of the Nellis UFO, sightings consulted with Chip Peterson, a video processing expert. He stabilized and enhanced several minutes of the S-30 video. I basically moved each frame, and you can see the frames actually moving now, showing the degree that I had to move the image in order to keep this object stable in the center. The stabilized image clearly shows the odd shape of the object shifting and turning in the sky. I then took the numbers one by one and reconstructed the flight path. And that's the only way I could determine what the actual motion was. And I recreated that in three dimensions. It's initially heading away from the camera and it, it abruptly changes. And during this phase, the range is increasing. It's actually going away from the camera. And at this point, it changes direction. Wind wouldn't do that. It wouldn't change that abruptly. And it wouldn't follow a constant radius throughout this entire portion here. It's all at constant uh, distance from the camera. It's as if it's observing the ground position just as the ground is observing it and maintaining this constant uh, distance. Based on his knowledge as an aerospace engineer, Peterson offered one possible explanation for the abrupt turns performed by the UFO. You could interpret it as if it determined it was on radar at this point. Perhaps it, uh, if, if you're on radar, of course, you can sense that in all of our fighter planes. You know when you're being tracked. As soon as you get a lock or you, you get this radar signal, it would seem to me that this object was interested in who's, who's observing it, and it turned in order to find out. When something starts to change shape like that in the air, you become very, very uh, puzzled because you realize that you're looking at something that appears to involve a whole new technology that we don't understand. What you want to do, of course, is go and find the person who's invented this and say, whatever made you think of that and what does it do and how does it do it? 